sincerely, it is one of the best songs. It's a foot tapper, mate, isn't it? One, were you there? Were you singing? No. <laughs> no, I wasn't there. What are you like? How many years out there was you that? Like? <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure you were out there? No, I wasn't there. No, you were. You were. No, I wasn't. Uh, I'd probably clean you someone's <laughs> boots somewhere along the line. No, I, I, those were great days. Um, so that's Chelsea's Blue is the Colour. Released it. You were there. That was released in 1972. You were at the club. I was at the club, yeah, but I was a mere apprentice when those lads were, were performing that. Um, but no, they did well, didn't they? It was, it, and it still stays. It's, it's, uh, it stood the time of longevity, that one. So, uh, during our playing days, uh, teams regularly released songs ahead of the cup finals. Yeah, they, they did, yeah. So, Ray, I've got four tracks oh, from the grief. Top Sport Jukebox. And I want you to do, all I want you to do is name the, the side that accorded. This should be easy peasy. The year it was released. I'm used so to the, the music. team, the year it was released and the score in that cup final. So, here we go. This is good. DJ Ed, come on. Liverpool FC is hard as hell. United Tottenham Arsenal. Watch my list and I will spell. Cause they don't just play, but they can rap as well. Liverpool FC. Yeah, my idea was it to build Liverpool into a bastion of invincibility, you know. Like... Oh, that was at Wembley, Nicholas and Elka scored. It's 19... in the 90s, yeah, 93. 98 it 98 was, was it? believe that? No, I can see the game. I was, I, was, the I was actually there, mate. Nicholas and Elka scored. Right, next one. Come on, boys. Here we go, Ed. Come on. He's been out with me. He's on the train in Norwich, the wee numpty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put him on that train, didn't you? No, I put him on the station. He got on an Norwich train. He woke up in Norwich, that idiot. <laughs> when was that? It was, uh, oh, by the way, God, do I remember this? Oh, do I remember this? This is Coventry, was it not? No, no. no. We lost the semi final um, when the first ever semi final didn't go to replay. Well, I, this is definitely after 78 because they joined yep. after the Argentinian um, uh, World Cup. So my dearest club, oh, well. we lost in the semi to their opponents. Did you now? Paul Mas Power? Paul Power? M Man City, yeah. Villa Park? 81. Yeah, 1981, spot on. Uh, anyway, uh, Tottenham won City 1, Tottenham won 3 2 in the replay. Yeah. Okay, one final one. Come on. <laughs> Final. It was Ipswich. Geddes down the right, crosses the ball, is cleared now. Roger, Roger Osborne, Osborne. Roger Osborne Ross, gets yeah. in now. The Arsenal, wasn't it? The Arsenal. Willie yeah. Young suck his foot out, out to Roger. Boom. Next morning, six o'clock, Brazil on his way to New York City. <laughs> and what was you doing there? Playing, the for, playing for Detroit Express. Oh, against was you? Straight Norway, off, um, was against, you? Um, yeah, against the Cosmos. Okay. Got there at half time, late again. And, um, oh yeah, unbelievable, a great story, uh, Saturday night we're all celebrating, we're trying to, Eric Gates, right, Gatesy, there was only one sub in those days, right? Yeah. He, he's miserable at the best of times, Gatesy, oh, miserable as sin, but he thought he was going to be sub, but Mickey Lambert was sub, uh -huh. so I said to him halfway through the night, we're all, everyone's celebrating because they won the cup, yeah. and Bobby was in great form, I said, Gatesy, I'm going to New York tomorrow, I've no money, but just borrow me something, will you, to get back, he went, well, he says, oh. Anyway, he goes in his pocket, right? He goes in his pocket, and he has two twenty quid. He says, that's all I've got, 40 quid. I said, that'll do. I've no money. Thank you. So next morning, I'm on the 6 o'clock flight to New York, right, to head to the, the giant stadium, New Jersey. 
I've got 40 quid on me. I'm meant to be meeting at the airport. I get off the plane, no one to meet me, so I go to the BA desk. I say, excuse me, is there anyone for Alan Brazil? I'm, I'm going to the football, the soccer stadium. Soccer? Are you, are you playing? I said, well, if I get there early enough, I, I could be. Don't worry, sir, we'll get you a helicopter. So I put my right hand in my pocket, I've got 40 quid. I went, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm scared of flying, I can't get a helicopter, just get me a cab. And uh, they got me a cab, got there at half time, we got beat 1 0. And I'll never forget, it was 1978. Flew back with the team. Uh, it was a good game, we lost 1 0. Flew back the team to Detroit. And the guy, a little Brazilian guy, yeah, he said, Are you Alan? He said, uh, I'm Roberto de, de Oliveira, come out with me, we're all going for a. Do you like a, a glass of wine? I went, Oh, yeah. So we walk in this uh, club called the Three Faces. I swear to you, it was like, I'm not kidding, it was like Saturday Night Fever when they walk in the club, everyone oh, knows really? them. Oh, yeah, and all of a sudden, up it comes, the Bee Gees. I'm not giving it all that. I just got off the plane and, oh, what? I had four months, the best time of my life, right? I came back, right, with the goalkeeper, a guy called Steve Harper, uh, Oxford and Newcastle, fullback Ian Davis from uh, Norwich, Norwich City in Wales, and as we as we got off, I, I'll skip a bit because it's not good for radios. You know, it was my darkest days. But as we got to Heathrow Airport, they, they were talking about how much they'd made, how much they'd saved. He one of them had twenty seven thousand dollars, the other one had thirty one thousand. Back in seventy eight. Yes, they're going to build a conservatory, get the dad a car. And they, they looked to me and said, "What have you got?" And I went in my pocket. I had eighty dollars. I'd Gates his forty quid. <laughs> Best four months of my life. Eight eighteen. <laughs>